Hey, what's up everybody? In this video, I will be telling you how to install your Logitech C920 Pro HD webcam recorder picture taker device thing. <laughs> so basically, we're going to look at the hardware and all the stuff that it came with. So the main three things that it came with was this Logitech important information booklet, which has your warranty and stuff as well as the second thing, your Logitech setup guide, which if you don't feel like watching this video and you have this, go for it. I'm pretty sure you can find those things online and I'll be showing you where you can find those. So um, first let's look at the hardware. You have the actual camera with the, the, the uh, microphones and then you have a bunch of devices down here. So on the bottom, you can put it on a tripod or anything that can screw into this. And then this camera bends in this direction, very little amount, but it does bend. So it goes from here all the way to there. So not much movement. Then this part down here also moves. So you can bend this back and forward. So you can get a pretty good range of motion in front of it. So here's the absolute lowest it can shoot, this direction and here is the absolute highest. So it's pretty much 180 circle, which is good. Now if you want to rotate it, you're going to have to either move your computer screen or your tripod or rotate it on a pivot tripod. But it, do, it itself does not rotate. Um, then you have down here, this little thing that comes out. This is to put on the back of a monitor. So if this is, pretend my hand is a monitor, you'd put it like this and then you can place this up against the monitor so it doesn't fall. All right, so now I'm going to be showing you that process. All right, so to put this on a computer monitor, I'm going to use one hand for this, it's pretty simple. You place it on top and you push down. Now on the back of it, let me rotate this here, this piece that unfolds, this can pivot in order to fit uh, your computer screen back. So if yours is a little more of a higher angle or anything like that, that can be adjusted. So I can place it here for example, which in my case, it's not going to let it come out very easily and fall or anything like that. Now it is on the top of your computer and as for range of motion, not much. You can move it down a little bit or up a little bit, but overall it's pretty limited and in order to rotate it, you'd have to move the whole monitor. All right, the next step is installing it on our computer. So you will want to take your other end of the USB cable, plug it into a USB slot. Let's get a good picture of this here. All right, there you go. So you just follow that cable and you can see it is plugged into my webcam. And you can just put that behind your computer monitor. Once again, there are a few more options to place. There are also a few more other, there are also a few other options you can use to place your webcam. For example, you can take this bottom piece, flatten that out, and set this on top of a table, or on top of your monitor, or if it fits, or pretty much whatever you want. And then the, the other option is taking some form of tripod, which is not included, putting it in this area, and rotating it in until it locks. It's pretty simple. So this one, in my opinion, is probably one of the best methods because this tripod specifically, you can loosen it and you can rotate the camera to get pretty much whatever angle you possibly want. And that is, that really, um, t that's, that's a benefit considering the camera doesn't move much this way itself. So that this is my best option for me, and I will be placing this on my desk. And then once again, take the USB cable, plug it into your computer USB slot. All right, and then what you want to do is open a web browser and travel to logitech.com forward slash downloads. And then you can go to webcams and find the webcam, HD Pro Webcam C920. And then from here, you can click um, Downloads. 
And then on the side, select your operating system. I'm on Windows 7. And then we can see if there's any other options here. And then we can download the software. And this should take a while. All right, now that that's done, we just click it. And it may be different if you have a different web browser, but basically you get the point. Run it, and this bar is going to come up, and you just have to wait for it. So yeah, let's wait for it. It shouldn't take too long, so boom, it's done. This user account control will pop up. Click yes. You probably can't see that on the video, but that's okay. Just listen to my voice. And then we have this installer box. English is my language, so next. And then it will ask you to plug in your webcam, and mine is, so next. And if it's not plugged in, then you just take the USB cable I showed you in the last step and plug it into the USB port. And then there's a bunch of options. And yeah, I'm just going to keep all of this like this and keep the installing directory the same. So next. And then basically we just wait for it to install. All right, my screen recorder messed up in the process of that, but basically it's very simple. Once that bar finishes loading, you may hear some disconnect sounds like or whatever. But uh, then you just select the final thing that'll ask you. It's pretty simple. And then uh, you could click try out my webcam or something along the lines of that. And if you've already X'd out of it, you can just search Logitech on your computer and select the Logitech webcam software. When you finish that installation, if you click try, this is the program that will come up. So we're right where we left off pretty much. Um, I forgot to mention, if you have Windows 8, you're not going to need this webcam software. You can just go to your camera tool and work it from there, I believe. So we can try a quick capture. And also another thing, oh, you saw me. Uh, you can change your webcam here. So if you have more than one, you can switch there. You can quick capture. Wrong webcam. <laughs> All right, so you can see me. Isn't that awesome? And uh, I'm not sure if you can hear my voice right now. So I'm going to check. All right, so uh, yeah, you can hear my voice. And what you do is you just press this button. You can take a photo. And there you go. You can look at your photo here by double clicking it. And it will tell you your, show you your photo. So you can also look at videos and motion videos, which um, we're not really going to get into all that right now. But on the side, you can connect to a social network. So if I automatically want to share a picture like this one, for say, to Facebook, I can sign in through this, and it will connect my account. But I don't really want to do that. Then once you uh, want to go into more detail, you can go to your settings, such as general. And you can select show webcam, icon, and system tray. What that means is down here in this corner, um, it will, once you save it, I think it's defaulted that it will, but it'll show up down here so you can easily access it. Another thing is you can turn off auto launch, which will launch when your computer starts, which I do not want because it'll slow down my startup time. Also in your preferences, you can go to quick capture, which uh, is for the video. You can change your video recording quality. The better, the more bigger the file size. And you can choose some other settings and the audio quality. And then you can go to gallery. From here, you can change where you want to save your files. So, for example, pictures, you can select a spot. For me, it's pictures forward slash Logitech. So, I can go to pictures and check it out. There they are. Pretty simple, pretty awesome. Um, what else? Uh, you can change or reset your account connections here. And you can look for updates by selecting the updates tab. You can check for updates. You can also configure for your advanced people who want to turn off automatic updates for, exa for example. So yeah, those are your basic Logitech settings. That's pretty much all I'm going to cover in this video. So hopefully that was helpful in you setting up your um, webcam. You can also use this for Skyping. So if you wanted to do that, you would have to download Skype and then in your settings, select what camera you want to use. And it would be the Logitech Pro C920. So that's all. So thank you for watching. Please be sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.